Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. Today is a different type of topic for me. Today we're talking about minimalist skincare. Now if you know me at all, <laughs> you know that that typically isn't my approach. I really do like a long protracted skincare routine because for me it's quite ritualistic and it's merry time. But I noticed recently uh, on Instagram, I actually did a little reel of my morning skincare and my evening skincare routine, and we're talking nine or 10 products in there. So what brought this whole thing about is a recent trip I took to San Francisco. I was going for two weeks to visit family and I started to pack and I sort of decided to challenge myself, you know, what's the least amount of products I can take with me yet still feel that I'm doing the goodness for my skin that I want to. And I layer different products because each of them are doing different things. So this was all about finding multitasking products that could pack a wallop um, and give me really good results uh, in sort of singular products. Now, I have my little spinny thing over here and there is a plethora of products. You know, we're talking things I purchased, um, many products I've kindly been uh, gifted. There are products that I have, um, I've won in giveaways. So I went through my vast array of products <laughs> and decided which are the ones that I could take with me that will give me the results that I want, but take the least amount of space in my suitcase. So I got this down to five products. Now those five products inc also included a cleanser as well as an SPF. So at the end of the day, you take those two pieces out, I have three products and that was it. So I have some real winners here today. I wanted to share those five products with you, let you know what I thought about them and whether or not I was happy with the results. So first off, we're gonna start with the cleanser. It's the first thing I do every, every morning and every evening. And the one that I went for was sort of a product I would generally only use for a first cleanse. So the cleanser is by The Inky List and it is their oat cleansing balm. This is a relatively new product um, and oh my goodness, do I love it. This Whopper, is 150 mils and it costs only 12 euros. Now, obviously you can't take this in a carry-on because it's over 100 mils, but I packed this in my suitcase, so it was not a bother. And I have been using this a lot over the course of the past month or so. So this is a super rich balm that is just stellar at removing sunscreen and any makeup. Although coincidentally, I don't think I wore makeup once out of those two weeks that I was away. Yay, here are the benefits to hippie California. So this contains almost what I would say is all the oils. It has sweet almond oil, sunflower oil, the oat kernel oil, and it's just deliciousness and kind of oiliness that is really what I like to use to take off all of the gunk from the day. Now, I always use some sort of flannel or some sort of washcloth, so it gives a little bit of grip to get that off. Now, I also used a cloth in the morning, which I don't typically do, just because it has all the oils in there, but I like to leave a little bit of that stuff behind too, because it's really great at softening the skin. Um, it also contains oatmeal, which is very soothing, and this is a product that's perfectly suitable for sensitive skin. So, this was a big winner for me. Yay. The next in line and the next in the order in which I apply product is an eye cream. I will never go without an eye product. And generally I have two. I generally do a serum first and an eye cream, but I went for just one. And this is my new favorite thing. And this is by Allies of Skin. It's their Peptides and Omegas Firming Eye Cream. And holy cow, the love is real. Now this packs so many good ingredients, I can't even list them all. But some of the highlights are hyaluronic acid, it has vitamin C derivative, it has Bacuccio, it has peptides, it has oils, it has CoQ10, and a bazillion antioxidants. And this it feels firming, it feels nourishing, it feels hydrating. This is becoming a firm favorite. I have loved using it every single day since I opened it for the first time and I will continue until it's gone. The next two products are designed to work synergistically and they are by Venn Skincare. And I really like their products because they have a heavy focus on probiotics and prebiotics and, and pr products that are designed to help feed our skin's natural microbiome. I'm all about that these days. The first is the serum and it is their probiotics Sika complex biome booster this is a soothing and a lifting serum it's a combination of pre pro and postbiotics that as i said are really there to help nourish our skin's natural microbiome it contains niacinamide to strengthen our barrier it has peptides as well as hyaluronic acid to help with hydration and 
it gives a plumping effect. It gives just a nice soothing effect, particularly having spent so much time in the sun, my skin just feels hydrated. The next one is the Moisturizer by Van. It is their Vitamin B Activated All-in-One Concentrate. And holy cow, this has just about everything that you need in your skincare routine. It hydrates the skin, it fights free radicals, it softens wrinkles, it improves the elasticity and the firmness, and it is pretty much Superman in a bottle. And these two work so well in conjunction together, the serum and the moisturizer. Um, beautifully hydrated skin, very, very easy to sink in. It just made my skin feel great. And then the very last thing is sunscreen. Now, not gonna lie, I might have taken four or five different sunscreens with me on this trip, but I was trying to do that for the other guys in my family too. But this is pretty much the only one that I used. And this was by the beauty of Josan. This is their Sun Relief Rice and Probiotics SPF 50. It's a very recent discovery. In fact, I did an SPF video quite recently on my top favorites of the year, and I'll put a little card up here for that if you want to check it out. And this was definitely one of the winners. I love this product. Now, not only do I know I'm getting the protection that I need, but it's just the way that it makes my skin feel. Um, it is very hydrating, and for many, you probably could skip a moisturizing step if you have oily skin. I did not, of course, um, but this is they say it's lightweight. It goes on quite thick, but then it just disappears. And it leaves a nice dewy finish to my skin, and it just felt hydrated. Ah, absolutely beautiful. So, a few things to note. This is cheap as chips, which is great. I think I paid 12 euros for this on the Stalvana website. And again, I will put all of these links to the products down below so you can find them for yourself. So as soon as this is gone, and you can see it's nearly gone. I'm squeezing stuff out right now. 100% going to replace it fabulous product. Um, the cleanser we know is quite cheap. That was 12 euros. The other products here, they are not an insignificant spend. Now, the first is the Allies of Skin Eye Cream. Now, this one runs for 85 euros. I don't care. It's really freaking good. So, chances are, I'm going to be repurchasing this. Um, it's just beautiful. My skin loves it. The skin around my eyes looks more hydrated. It looks plumper. This is the business, and I'm going to be repurchasing it. Now, the serum is 165 euros, and the moisturizer is 185. They're beautiful products. My skin felt healthy. It felt particularly in the amount of sun I was getting, and there was intense heat where I was up in San Francisco as well as in Los Angeles. So I was constantly having to feed my skin, and these absolutely did the job. Personally, not sure if it's attainable from a cost perspective. Um, I'm going to see what happens. I've already finished this off so sad. I um, haven't repurchased yet because I'm about to test something else out. This is still running strong now um, and I really, really love it. It's one of these things, if you have the money, I think it's worth the spend. I think it's worth checking these products out because my skin, like I said, tremendous sun exposure, felt great. Skin's still feeling great. I've been using it since I got home. I've been sticking with the same minimalist skincare routine, which is a bit of a shocker, although this one's gone and I'm having to put something else in its place. But guys, I was able to survive on five products for more than two weeks. I was gone for two weeks. I came home. I did another trip, quick trip to Spain and still using it now. And I'm down to five products in a day. And I'm kind of liking it. So there you go. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Tell me what your thoughts are on minimalist skincare. It kind of goes totally against everything that I enjoy about skincare and taking care of my skin health, but it was enlightening. It made me show I can do more with less. So that's very interesting. Do you have a really long skincare routine? Do you have a short one? And if you have a short one, what are those really powerhouse products that are able to accomplish a lot of tasks? Um, without having to use a lot of different products. I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. And as always, please do leave your comments down below because I love hearing from you and I will respond to each and every one of them. So thanks again for joining today and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs> you think I'm going to get it? Mm-hmm. Okay.